Here's the equipment that we're going to use for these various experiments to test Faraday's law. Now, the main ingredients come in this little uh, takeout canister. It's a little kit. Let's open it up and use that. We have a piece of PVC pipe. It's a three-quarter inch PVC pipe. It's got some tape on it to um, show you where to wrap the wires. So we want to wrap the wire in between, in between the tape. I'll show you that. And then this little film canister, it's a kit within a kit. It has the magnets. Now, there are actually 10 little pellets, magnetic pellets, all stacked together, and that'll be the magnet we drop through. Uh, this one already has a little tape tab on the top, and if you, yours doesn't have that, you can make that, and the idea is that you can hold that tab and then drop the magnet from rest. Also, it gives us a marking for which end of the magnet is up because we're going to try dropping it upside down without the tab. Also in here is a little spool of wire. It's, it's just wrapped on PVC pipe to hold it. The solid wire is about two meters long. The length doesn't matter. What we're going to do is we're going to count how many times we wrap the, the windings around the PVC pipe. And then inside the canister, we also have some other goodies. There are four more lengths of wire. They're about a meter a piece. These wires, they're different colors, but they have uh, white with colored dashes on them, so we can tell the difference. And so we'll put those aside. We'll use those in a little bit. The canister also has some bubble wrap in it. And what we're going to do is use this to catch the magnet when we drop it. So we'll just drop the magnet into the canister. The ceramic magnets, they're a little bit brittle. So if you dropped it on the floor, it might chip and crack and break. And if that does, you can get one, uh, a replacement from your instructor. Okay, let's put this aside. To measure, so what we'll do is we'll wrap some wires around the PVC pipe. And then to measure the voltage, we'll just use the same voltage probe from Vernier that we used in the capacitor lab. So just two wires. This, this is like a voltmeter, but um, it will record the voltage, and we'll record it uh, many times every second. And so we'll just plug it in. We have a logger pro here, and it's connected to a laptop outside the camera. So we'll connect that. I want to show you the setup for that, so we'll do that in a little bit. There's also something else I've added to this that we don't usually use. I've got a little stand with a test tube holder. When there's two people doing this lab, one person can hold the pipe and the other person can drop the magnets. But I'm only one person, so I'm going to need an extra set of hands to do this stably. So I will clamp that in and drop like that. Now, one of the experiments we're going to do is in, to increase the speed at which the, the magnets fall through. And the way we'll do that is that we will drop the magnets from higher and higher height. And to do that, we'll, we'll take this pipe, and we have a, a, a known length. We, we can measure the length of the drop with the tape measure. And then we can drop the magnets from a higher height by extending the length. And we can measure the length of the pipe and drop from just the top of the pipe from rest. And we have four different lengths of pipe here that we can add subsequently to uh, different lengths to get higher up. Now, holding that is difficult, so um, we have another holder over here. And so on the end of the table, we have a bench clamp, and in it, again, lots of PVC pipe here. It's just a holder with a T in it that we can hold the, uh, the pipe in here. And then the reason we want to stand this out is we, the bench clamp is made of metal, and we don't want any metal getting near where we have the magnetic field going. And then down below, we've got a rug to protect the, the ground, and we'll put the little to-go cup 
down right underneath. In fact, let's here let's stand this out as far as as we can get it, and we'll line it up so that it lands in the cup. And the pipes actually, as we extend them longer, they'll get taller and taller. And we can adjust for that by making the pipe go down farther, but it really can get quite tall for the tallest ones. And so if you need it, we even have a step stool or these stairs that come from the lab. And so um, you'll be able to get up and make a stable drop from the top. So this is the equipment that we'll need to make all, all of our measurements.